this term, on this second term, I've got an opportunity to work with people who have previously been homeless and now are homeowners. So that has been a really big um, thing for me and very satisfying to see some of the people actually own homes that they never thought they would be able to own. So it's been pretty good. You gotta love them. It's, it's saying, Ms. O.T., look what I did. Look, you helped me and I got an A in my math. Ms. O.T., you helped me and look at my science project. Ms. O.T., you just helped me today. I didn't get into a fight. Are you happy I didn't fight? Some kids, you know, Ms. O.T., I wore socks today. <laughs> you know, it's the smaller things that you, you, know, you get really excited for because you're building a habit and a routine for them. We've had a few students who have come through the program who have now transitioned to becoming actual instructors in computer classes, who came through looking how to use, uh, looking to learn how to use a keyboard and how to use a mouse, who are now teaching other students how to use Microsoft Excel. And it's fantastic to watch that happen. It's great to be a part of that. I wanted to funny things that I noticed was like they automatically recognize you. So I'd be walking up the street and think, aren't you the man from the art center? Or, you know, one day I was walking to teach class and I just heard this anonymous voice from one of the windows scream out, hey, it's the art center man. So, you know, things like that, scenarios like that really are kind of poignant to me because I'm coming from like a really small city and coming to Chicago where I totally didn't know anybody and within a year being integrated into a community that well where, you know, people recognize you and they're excited to see you. Kind of made me feel good and know that I was um, definitely adding to the dynamic or the aesthetic of the community. is when uh, this AmeriCorps, we went to Biloxi, Mississippi. That was, that was fantastic. And the most rewarding part for me was, is that I got a chance to meet some of the survivors of Hurricane Katrina. And we were build, help building and finishing homes for them and we got to meet some of them. And that was, that was really most rewarding to me. I never knew the impact uh, of, uh, someone being in a hurricane until going down there. It's every Friday, we go to a different block and we have a block party. We play basketball and there's like health screenings and um, just all the other um, organizations come out and give out information. It's, it's just to be, I guess the point of that is we don't have safe spaces. I, sometimes at night or sometimes it's not safe to be out in the streets. So on Fridays we go into the street and it's just like everybody's out there. Mm, I, would, I would recommend this to anybody who's got an interest in serving their community or learning more about another community. It's great for newcomers to a place. I just moved to Chicago two years ago and I feel like through this program and through my service with AmeriCorps, I've really been able to become a part of the city. I would like to add that uh, Sandra Bullock Johnson is the greatest. She's helped me, she's backed me. Can't say enough good things about her. Uh, whenever there has been the slightest difficulty, she's, she's been there to help. And uh, I want her to know that I appreciate that. And plus, she's the sweetest woman in the world. Aww. That's very nice. <laughs> Wait, now we say something.